What's up, YouTube? Vito here. Welcome to episode 20 of Cruise Control Champion. Uh, so last episode, I asked you guys, why did you want more between me just uploading pretty much every match leading to Champion, or me just uploading the better matches, the more interesting ones, uh, the more insightful ones, whatnot? Um, it was pretty mixed, actually. I read pretty much all the comments. Um, it was very, very mixed. But one thing I noticed is that people wanted me to upload the matches, like all of them, because they wanted to learn something from it. People have been saying that uh, the way I play Free For All helps them, uh, they learn a lot from it, and I obviously respect that. But the way I see it is that I think I'm gonna ultimately decide on uploading less matches, and just just so you guys can see the progress happen faster and not just like every single match, because right now, first of all, I'm Diamond 6. Once I get Onyx, I'll be Onyx 1500. And the CSR threshold for champion is at approximately 2100 right now. So that's 600 CSR, which I need to grind extremely fast. Obviously I don't want the season to reset and um, lose my rank again. So I'm gonna be I'm definitely going to be finishing it this season. But uh, 600 CSR is a lot of matches. Assuming I get like 10 per, uh, per win, per first place, it's a bit more than that. It depends. But that's like 60 games, right? And obviously, uh, that's way too many episodes for me to upload too many matches per episode. That's like, I do two matches per episode, that's 30 episodes, so that's not really gonna happen before the end of the month if I do one upload a day, first of all. So right off the bat, it's not an option. And second, I do plan on, you know, focusing more on uh, tips and tricks for people, uh, putting that sort of stuff to YouTube. And that's probably gonna happen more after I'm done with the series. Obviously, I don't really have the time to focus on making tips and tricks videos because I'm trying to figure, I mean, not figure this out. Finish the series and also stream at the same time. Uh, the stream stuff has been going really well, so I want to stay consistent at that. So that's pretty much what's happening. So I decided that I would just pick the matches I prefer and I just throw them on YouTube instead. Not just upload every single one of them. So yeah, I figured I'd keep you guys updated. Anyways, I'll hop right into it. Uh, just start. So yeah, pretty much the same. The difference is gonna make is that instead of like seeing literally one match after the other, like I might just I might just skip like let's say from Onyx fifteen hundred to Onyx sixteen hundred. You won't really see a difference. You'll just see my rank progress faster. So for you guys, it's not gonna be a real real difference. But it's not gonna take nearly as long, right? The goal is actually to finish a series because you know it's a challenge. And what uh. March 12th, so that leaves me like, how many months is there this, how many days, sorry, this month? So that leaves me about 19 days to reach champion. Now that's very doable, especially if I just focus on this a lot and, you know, not just take two, literally two matches per day. So I was thinking I might actually start streaming this. Um, before I do that, I definitely want you guys' feedback. I know some of you guys watch only my YouTube, some of you guys watch Twitch as well. So if you guys would want me to stream this, which would probably be like uh, in the afternoon to like the evening, uh, Eastern Standard Time, that's usually the time when I start streaming. So that would that's what it would be. If you guys don't want that, I just want your feedback. It doesn't matter if you guys want it or not. Just let me know. Like put, leave something in the comments. By default, I'm not gonna do it unless you guys tell me to. But yeah. Anyways, uh, we got Fathom. You guys know how it goes at this point. If you don't, just read the description. The rules are in there. So yeah, I wonder all gun. I'm not sure when Camel spawns. Camel's probably gone already. Yeah, it definitely is. So I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty early, around the 50 second mark. Oh gosh, that was a good angle. Uh, Sosa, I've played with Sosa before. The guy definitely is a uh, high rank. So this match is definitely going to be slightly challenging. Definitely not sleeping on anyone this match. But yeah, it's, it's gotten to the point where like you match kind of high ranks, no matter what your rank is. So uh, I gotta take it seriously, not mess around. Also someone on the radar, I'm not sure where this guy is. Okay, it was at the bottom. That is incredible that he actually killed me there. I had a feeling, I had a feeling it would get him no matter what, but... I guess I was just really unlucky, or I don't know. I guess I just had like really unfortunate spread in my assault rifle. Oh. 
Jeez, that splatter grenade. Where did it come from? Okay, there's a guy with a gun right above me. Obviously, I'm not gonna stick out in the open because he's gonna get me for sure if I do. Oh, now we drop down the enemies in the splinter area. I'll just try and bait him to the small door here. There we go, excellent. Oh, my splinter might get. No, he dodged my splinter. Or I just completely missed it. Yeah, you can be like creative with the radar and that stuff. Like, you can just bait people. You just make him think you're like leaving their radar range so they're gonna chase you. And you're waiting around the corner, ready to jump him pretty much. Yeah, it's important to be creative with the radar. It's not just like a camping tool, it's really just you can bait people, you can be like all sorts of creative with it if you're if you know what you're doing. Alright, this guy's a railgun again. I obviously don't want that. I definitely do not want to let him get camo as well. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, I'd rather have this guy steal my kill than leave the other guy alive with railgun and camo. I'm happy with the guy that cleaned up my kill there. Because, you know, if I let him get camo and railgun, you get pretty much like. He gets a free killing spree pretty much, unless he somehow chokes really, really bad. So I'm happy that he died no matter what. So, but I'm gonna try to secure it for myself here. Okay, there's definitely a guy in blue base somewhere. There has to be. Whatever, I'm not gonna look for him, I'll just... Okay, well, I guess... Not sure if that was a guy I was looking for, but... Yeah, the corner kinda tricked me, I should've paid more attention. Nihilus Railgun, which is obviously something I don't want. I'll try and go back for it. This map is getting campy, I hear no one's shooting at all. Uh, unfortunate. The guy shot me in the back, I wasted my trust, and the guy was pretty much had a free railgun kill. Uh, as long as he somehow didn't miss, which was really unlikely seeing how I used up my trust. Because in this game, the railgun is really, really accurate. It's pretty easy to land your shots, assuming that the other person doesn't have your trust. So you gotta be very, very careful with when you use your trust. I am very surprised it connected around the corner, actually, but I guess that's how the railgun is now. Okay, that was quite literally the worst spawn I've ever had in any free-for-all game, ever. I'm not even sure what to... how to feel about this. So he's just... he's just sitting in a red treehouse with Railgun. Or something, I forgot. He was in one of the treehouses. Might have been red. Well, if I could just find the Railgun... Okay, here it is. Railgun and Kevin would be great. Well... If I can stay alive here, this is huge. Yep, this is huge. No, there's so many people shooting me. This is a tough game. Keep in mind, this is also my first game today. Did not warm up at all, but that's okay. Shouldn't make too big of a difference. Well, that was just unlucky. I should have had at least one kill. This happens a lot to me lately. Like, when two people are fighting, I think I'm about to get a cleanup and you just trade. Hmm. Alright, my roller gun is there. I forgot which tree house it was. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was blue because I just spawned here. My goodness. Just when I saw it, I had a free kill. Actually, I got kind of scared I would die, so it's not bad. Works out for me. Okay, I'm gonna play it very slow. Oh my goodness, the grenades! He was he was thinking about going for a ninja there. Where's the railgun? Alright, it's out. I don't know. I can't find it. Yeah, definitely did not make the jump. There's no way. Okay, yeah. Now I need this. I need to not die. As dang it. 
people are like on top of the Raga and they will not let me get it today. You really, really want the Raga on this map. I forgot when I picked up Camel earlier. There it is. Okay, that might be a big difference maker if you're still alive. Gosh, dang it. I cannot get away with anything. I've had the, I've had so many railguns, so many camels this game, I just cannot live for more than five seconds. I should just play it passive. I like it's one of the reasons I'm dying a lot, not getting away with anything. Just being overly aggressive. It's good to play passive, especially on this map. So I'll just wait here. Not try and force anything. Oh, this guy is doing work with a railgun, wherever he is. Oh, it's, it's very likely that someone's gonna spawn inside red base, so obviously I wanna make sure they don't come and clean me up. Throw a couple nades there. <sighs> Caught off guard. This guy's gotten a lot of railgun kills in the very, very short moment. Oh, this guy knows I'm Euro, so I'm gonna take my time before going around this corner. Probably has a relic on or a storm rifle. Yeah, definitely has a storm rifle. My goodness. This is quite a party. I think it's because everyone is playing so passive this game that whenever someone hears a little sound, like someone shooting across the map, everyone just collapses on it. I'm gonna try and go around here because obviously my grenades. Oh, that's the wrong side. Rip. Oh, hello. Gosh, I got so scared I would trust into my own grenade there. Oh no. But, see, this is what I mean. This game, I touched a power weapon and died every single time, less than five seconds later. I'm actually tempted to go back and watch this recording and just count how long I've held power weapons overall. Because I've died so fast every single time. Week. Dang it. I'm just gonna make sure to block his path. Oh, my grenade barely missed. He's gonna be dead, guy, isn't he? Of course. Please die, my splinter. Oh, he's so lucky my splinter vanished as soon as he jumped into it. So freaking lucky. I need one kill here. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. To Is that a welcome? Oh, it's a beer. Oh, the grenades! Is this really gonna be a one kill game? Oof, I cannot believe how close that was. Jeez, what a match. He was definitely going to kill me if I didn't have a splinter. 100%. That was scary. Oh, see, I was literally one game away from ranking up. I think I predicted that last episode. He's Diamond 6. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised. That's all I have to say. Alright, so I played a game in between pretty much. Now my CSR is 1541, so that's pretty much how it would go down. Um, like I played a game in between, don't really see the difference, but my CSR is still going up. So pretty much it makes it faster, well for you guys at least. And it doesn't require me to upload all the episodes, this is more entertaining this way. Uh, definitely doesn't drag for nearly as long. And obviously like I might decide to just randomly skip more matches, or like skip, not more matches, but like more ranks I guess. So you might, be a bit, you might see a bigger jump in terms of rank. 
and that's uh, pretty much what I'm going for here. Let me show you guys a little example. All right, so we have overgrowth here. Um, I've had some pretty bad things to say about overgrowth in the past. Lately, I've kind of changed my stance. Ever since I've hit that 360 railgun for the winning kill, no, that's not really what it was. But um, you should watch. Go, you should go watch that episode if you haven't. But really, overgrowth has gotten a lot better without the shotty and the sword. I feel like it's a bit snowbally in terms of like having the railgun, but. And I also do not like how you can sprint around the corner and spar and charge someone. But I feel like it's improved a lot. It plays okay for free for all. Still not like a huge, huge fan, but it's it's not that bad anymore. Not nearly as bad at least. So that doesn't seem much. It's kinda hard to do worse than how it was originally. I think one of the reasons is that I appreciate this map more is also because I've gotten I've gotten better with the railgun. Like a lot better. I mean, ever since I learned a trick. Not really a trick, but whatever. The thing where you can release the railgun and still fire it. I've enjoyed the weapon so much more. Okay, this is a horrible spot to be in. The splinter grenade. How did that reach me? Uh, so I'll be running for the railgun right off spawn, pretty much. I want to get it. Check her people fighting over there. I can probably get a free cleanup if I'm. Nope. Uh, there's a real good cell down there. I think I can see it in the grass right there. Yeah, I can see it in the side. Please spawn me close to it. That's good enough. Please don't despawn. Please do not despawn. No! You're kidding me! Feels bad, man. I really wanted that real gun. I'm upset now. Whatever. Well, I, guess, I guess I'll have to play this without using the main part weapon on it and just dominating. Okay, I'm in a really, really bad position here. Okay, lately I've been missing my melee so much. I like... I don't know. I was gonna say shoot my melees, but I, yeah, I melee like way too early lately. Not sure why, not sure what happened. But I pretty much melee like his... Oh my gosh, that scared me. Like it's Halo 3. Halo 3 you, were, you could like melee 20 years ahead of when you actually needed to and it would still connect. In this game, melees register like... I don't know. Actually they register really late so it does make sense for me to melee earlier than I should but... I feel like it's not paying off. I like... I, I'm starting to do it too early. I probably should have just gone for the Relegan here. The Relegan matters way more than getting two random kills. Oh well. Well, that's interesting. If you wanted me that so bad, I forget I could get pretty much a free ninja if I was careful. You're kidding me. <laughs> I went for the railgun instead of the ninja. I could have just melee that guy. 200 times in nine different ways, I would have had him. <sighs> You're lucky. That guy is so lucky, he spawned there as well. Or was it the same guy? Yeah, it was the same guy actually. He spawned literally where I killed him. That's so lucky for him. And now he has a railgun. I thought there was a guy behind me, but oh, there he is. Thank you for hopping my splinter. My splinter, not my splinter. Definitely appreciate that. So yeah. Uh, let's have a moment of silence for that railgun ninja that I completed show. I heard someone. See, this is exactly what I mean. This is what I was talking about. Come around the corner, spawn and charge someone, and somehow get a trade or a kill. You were saying, oh, that doesn't happen that often, but it happens so much in this map because people are rushing so much, and there's so many stupid corners and hallways that you just. See what I mean? I actually ended up paying the price for that, but. It goes like that a lot. If you're not. Suspecting it, if you're not expecting a person around the corner, you're pretty much dead, like, 99% of the time.
Yeah, so, so Railgun was around the camo area, so I should probably just go there and try and find him. Because if he gets camo and Railgun, that's gonna be a bit too snowball-y. And I think I'm late to the party, actually. Yep. Indeed I am. So I heard the shells, he was in like the, the stairs area. Wait, did I get it? Did it really spawn? I'm just gonna go look for the railgun person. There he is. This is not what I wanted. You guys do not understand how much effort that took to switch the grenade with a D-pad while doing a 180 and stick him right in the face. That was pretty cool though. I should probably record that dude. Was that montage worthy? I don't think it was, but let's record it anyways after I kill this guy. Who knows, maybe I'll use it one day. Now for the railgun. I think this is the first time this episode that I get an actual railgun without dying within two seconds or something. Triple kill, we're all lined up. Overkill. You're so lucky. How dare you ruin my clip. I thought that was a frag nade for some reason. Ready. Not sure what it- that grenade did absolutely nothing. Let's try again. Camo's definitely gonna be up soon. The guy got it pretty early earlier. Did I just get a 2 for 1 to end the game? What was that? I'll assume it was a 2 for 1 to end the game. I'll take it. Alright, 1569. That's an excellent way to end it just because it ends in 69. So. There yeah, was a champion from earlier. So yeah, I'm definitely ranking up faster than I thought I would actually. This isn't bad. This isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I've gotten like 20, a little over 20 points per game on average. So this is surpri surprisingly good actually. I'm happy with that. But I still don't think uh, one, two matches per day or one episode a day is going to be enough. So once again, I want to know if you guys think I should stream this or I should just like... Okay, okay, no, 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 let me start over. I do want to know, actually, if you guys think I should stream this. I most likely won't, unless there's, like, a really, really popular demand for it. But the main difference is that I'm still, like, instead of just uploading the matches and missing some in between, if I did stream it, you could, like, see all of them. This is the main difference. And the, in the grand scheme of things, it means my commentary would not be, like, nearly as focused in the game. Not, I, I don't know. Because sometimes when I stream, I talk to people, you can kind of tell the difference. When I'm just recording like this, I'm really focused on the commentary, what I'm doing in-game. I'm sure you guys prefer that. I want your feedback anyways. If you guys, like, prefer it like this, or if you want to, like, see the episodes in between stream. Not the episodes, the matches in between, because I'm not going to upload all the matches I've decided. Let me know in the comments. But anyways, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you next time. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Obviously, helps a lot. Anyways, have a good one. See you next time. Peace.